For a brief moment, there was just chair versus uh, cake assault. I think it's the first time I've seen rock, paper, scissors on stream. I, think I always just offer to ban stream, first. Yeah. Dude, I always just offer my opponent to ban first. It's great. Because, yeah, <laughs> I actually prefer having two stages, but I don't care about first ban. I think it's actually yep. ideal to just ban second. Well, it's you get first ban, and then you get to pick the remaining stage, right? Yeah. So it's still an advantage to going first, but I don't think it matters. I, I've always been with the case of, dude, give me more info. Which of these five stages do you just not want to play on? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can right? do a little bit. Alright, game one, going to Swampy Estuary. I know Cake loves the stage, not Ooh. even just merch, but just like the aesthetic. That's so good. Punish him for breaking clone. That's scary. When you jump at clone, one of two things can happen, right? They can either pop clone in your face, or they can punish you for going after the clone. Yeah, it's a super risky thing to do. Like, when you're in the position of someone against using clone. And Cake's been so good about that. Not only is his gate, like, Forest War Normal's game good, but he's good at the deception side, too. Oh, absolutely. I, I love, in particular, you'll see him make, like, a bunch of smoke on the ground. He'll F Cave, and then he'll dash back through the end lag of it, or, like, right after the end lag, so it's a pretty short end lag, right? Yeah. So F Cave, dash back. So you'll just see the cape hitbox, and then there's just, there'll be nothing there when you're gonna look punch it. <laughs> oh, a little SD from Cake there. MSB brought up the pillar early because he didn't expect MSB to just like jump it. He's used to just like stalling off stage. MSB definitely has his he has his foot in the gate. It's just a little hard for him to get in. His cake's just an unrelenting wall of pain. I mean, yeah, that is cake sold in a nutshell. Uh, I still remember distinctly at High Rule Saga talking to SBS while Cake was playing, and this is when SBS still played Forsberg. And we watched uh, Cake Assault throw out like three or four fares and up airs to pressure the opponent before actually landing the next area. And I just remember SBS being like, man, <laughs> and then going Claire. <laughs> I feel that. It's just that character is rewarded and, and expected to keep up a ton of pressure. You really need to have something going at all times because that's all you got, right? Yeah, it can be really hard for Craig to deal with Forrest Burn in this mm -hmm. matchup just because I'm like, he's kind of stubby. He has decent, like, close range with his boxing tools, but the hardest part is just being able to get in. Cake's second stock here was absolutely incredible. Nair 2 down smash. I think you have to hold, oh, you have to, like, hold so hard down and tech. Because if you don't tech, it's, like, basically true. And if you're, if you're not careful holding down, you might fall off the side. Yeah, it's extremely risky. I love doing that as far as yeah, so Cake's cool. pressure is so and good! MSB has no pillar. I think he's just dead here. Yeah, he's... <laughs> rinse repeat. Down what here. We have... Three. Combust. Ugh. Yeah, he's, he's dead. Oh, he got his pillar back. I didn't even see that. I mean, it's MSB. He might make it back. Oh, <laughs> he just almost barely. Did. What an absolute back. I like how Kanga saw at that point. It was just like, yeah, let's see what happens. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> like, do what you want. I have faith in MSB. Yeah. He's definitely the type to make it back from any situation. He almost did. He almost did. Two a little bit farther into the middle. I think he had it. When he started. Ooh, okay. Oh, that's such a good confirm. He's been doing that a lot over this weekend. He caught me with that too today. <laughs> it's so good. Point blank down because it's so hard to parry when you're getting hit by like the first two shards. Most people will just like dash into the third, like the Lily parry. Yeah, absolutely. Or like the bubbles parry. But with that, it's just point blank, and then he just has run up up smash while you're still in hand stun. So you can't actually, you don't want you to move that's anywhere. That's nasty, right? It's such a good confirm. Ooh, that was a fast parry. But uh, I must be new. Maybe uh, he waited a little bit. This game is looking. A little bit, okay, well, was looking a little bit more MSB either. died extremely early from that, um, I mean, Cake had 0% on him, but he's really clawing his back. Definitely an interesting stage counter pick. I think that's pretty good for, like, just MSB's play style. Oh, oh my god, that was supposed to be a tech read off that. The up tilt was supposed to catch his Cake, and he would tech on the plat. And then he could just cover that, like a lot of Ronos would do, where they just, like, wave land out there and hold up smash out of attack. But Cake just kind of stood there, and then it just worked anyway, because Cake wasn't ready. It's so scary, man. Them. It, these are big platforms, too, so you usually feel pretty safe, but yeah, yeah it's they can really catch you. Whoa, this might be just it, though. Cake's punish game is absolutely, like, the biggest shining part of his play. He just, he barely oh. drops his confirms. They're all extremely his tech clean. chases. I don't want to call them tech chases. He's already there doing the move before you've teched. <laughs> it's more just like, he grabs your controller and tells you which direction you need to go next. Like, it's crazy. All right. Super on point as Two usual. Two cakes so far. Yeah, MSB, MSB brought it back a little board. bit because it was he had a huge deficit at the beginning, but it was still very very difficult for MSB to get his foot in the door. Cake is just a wall of terror. 
Ooh, man. All right. Treetop Lodge. I know this is MSB's favorite stage. I definitely think it's a He likes it a lot, yeah. yeah. It's a player thing. It's not so much of like a, this is such a good frag stage. I've heard he likes it in the Arcane matchup specifically, like as a counter pick option. I huh. think it's just because of kind of like the, the size of the blast zones and like the small stage kind of making it hard to pressure. That's interesting. I kind of forgot exactly why, but he said it was really good. I know Julian ended up really liking that as a counter pick option. This is such a, I feel one of the more, it's not Tempest Peak, but a very divisive stage, right? I think there's some people out there who genuinely don't like Treetop or will not really take any of it because it's 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 counter it's a counter pick. It's a Absolutely. real counter pick stage. A yep. high platform, a short platform, longer one, small stage, lower bottom blast zone, but there's a lot going on. A lot of specific stuff that certain people love, certain people hate. Sometimes it's a perfect storm, you know? Yeah. I really like it honestly. It's a really good app stage. I think it's, so I, I'm not sure if it's like a mixed stage for Forest Burning Crag, but I can definitely see both of them liking it for different reasons. <laughs> a lot of stage preference so. in this game is just based off of like player play style. Yeah, exactly. There's some things where it's, oh man, this is a really cool thing you can do with this character on this stage, right? Depends or like, oh, don't so take Edelus to FD, but even that, I think some Edelus is, it's fine yeah. taking to FD. <clears throat> yeah, if I you know. are confident there as well. Like, maybe on FD is disgusting. Yeah, like, one of the biggest things for Edelus in that matchup is that you, can, you can't you can Icicle because it's like a free parry at all times. True. But at the same time, it's also a very good Edelus stage, so it's kind of like a double-edged sword. And I think that's every stage. There's always pluses and minuses for every character. And here, MSB, I was thinking maybe he's just trying to, like, have more control of the stage, but King Assault is just so on top of him. That'll help. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Those I call that, like, the, the, the reveal, right? He appears and there's just nothing there and falls down. <laughs> the magician had a little defect. Exactly. Mistake going on. It's okay, the act's still pretty good. No, I, I the still act is it, yeah. splendid right now. You know what? I got my money's worth from that. Uh, yeah, it was, <laughs> a, it, was, it was a good show. I think everyone definitely appreciated the show, even though he messed up one little gig. Just like that Cake Assault 3-0. Like, the magician just pulling it out. It's what pretty normal. Set. Yeah, no, that, set was, count between them. that was good. Uh, Cake is just playing. I, I can't even say, man, he's playing on fire. This is something I've never seen before. No, this is. This is Cake is playing Cake. He's, this is the norm. He's good at the game. He's playing hot. I'm glad to see he is not playing worse than normal. He's playing on point. And uh, he pushes that bar so high. I don't know what Cake playing good looks like anymore. <laughs> like, is it just. This, does the set end before it starts? I feel like it's just predetermined. Zibita, there's no free will. <laughs> and 